Hey, what's good, BT Gang? And we back with another banger, man. Thank you so much for tuning in once again. I'm BT, and welcome to BT Sense, man. Today, we got a heavy fight today, y'all. Listen, y'all been wanting this, so I'm going to give it to y'all. I've been testing these two out for the past couple days just to see who, who got the edge on who. And pretty sure by the title, y'all know what we're talking about. So, we got Alexandria Visionary right here. Visionary. And then we have Montaigne's Imaginary. Now, if you can't tell by the names, these are two inspirations of Louis Vuitton's imagination. Excuse me. So, in my opinion, I would say imagination is probably the most popular Louis Vuitton fragrance. I think it's the flagship fragrance. I think it's so easy to wear. It's so like mass appealing. The performance on the OG is great as well. It's probably one of the best performing Louis Vuitton fragrances. It's just like a soapy, clean, easy going, uh, green tea type of feel. Like it has a slight floral feel as well, in my opinion. It's just very, very likable and clean and easy to pull off. So I think that's one of the reasons why it's Louis Vuitton's, you know, most popular fragrance. And for good reason. I really, really like it. Personally, it's not my favorite one, but I would say it's definitely like top three top four that I smell so far. So it's a really, really good fragrance. But these two houses, they took a jab at it. Alexandria is probably my favorite clown house. Montaigne is, it, it, they're coming. You know, they're, they're right behind them probably. So I wanted to see how, like, which one should you go for? Which which really appeals to the, to the person who wants the best bang for the buck? So we're gonna go ahead and, uh, we're gonna spray these on strip and we're gonna go ahead and talk about them. So I'm, I'm gonna put uh, Alexandria on the right strip right here. Two good sprays on that one. And I'm going to put Montaigne on the left. And we're just going to compare the openings and everything like that. Yo, this DNA smells really fantastic, y'all. It's atomizer on Montaigne. It's harder. But got it, got it, got it. Got some on my finger. Man, yo, this stuff smells amazing. I will be lying. I will be lying if I didn't say that, bro. This, These smell really good. So let's check out the openings on these two and let's see what we get. Okay. Okay. So one thing I will say, they both smell very similar. I would say the Montaigne probably comes off just a tad bit fresher. And I think a, a tad bit more citrusy, like it has a little bit more citrus in it. I can get, I don't know what the citrus is that I'm getting, but it's definitely more citrus. It might be a bergamot or something. But the Alexandria smells very similar as well. A tad bit like denser and sweeter, but that's to be expected because it's an Estrade de Parfum. And like I always say, I feel like in Estrade de Parfums, the top notes like 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 Lifeline is like really, really short in Estrade de Parfums. I feel like it goes really quickly down into the mid and dry down. So, but this is an EDP, the Montana is an EDP. And I'm getting more citrus, it's kind of bright. I honestly off the first spray, I like the smell of the Montaigne better. I like the I like the uh I like the Montaigne better off the first sniff. Just because it has like a citrus feel to it, it has a little bit more life. But the but the Alexandria smells it, it's like y'all, like when I'm doing this, just remind yourself, like, I am like trying to find the smallest details possible. Like these things smell so similar that it's crazy, but I'm just trying to find something you know, to different, different, like to differentiate the two, you know, just so y'all can, you know what I mean? Cause both of these smell freaking fantastic. Like going off of like, um, uh, performance, let's go ahead and talk about performance. So definitely I would say, I feel like the Montaigne projects more, but for a short amount of time, because I believe this one has better longevity. You know, this one sticks around like 10 hours, 11, like 10, nine to 10 hours, bro. This is like seven to eight. But this one projects a little bit more. I think the EDP has something to do with that. The straight does stick to you better though. But these are both phenomenal options. That's I was just telling, I think I did a first impression for Montaigne and I was like talking, I'm like, man, like, why are we spending $400, $300 on Louis Vuitton Freshies if these ones smell just as good? Maybe a little bit under, but just as good and they last longer. I mean, sometimes people want the presentation and the bot. I mean, I ain't gonna lie y'all. Louis Vuitton's bottles, I think they have the best bottles in the fragrance game. I'm not going to lie. Louis Vuitton's bottles are clean, but but it doesn't justify their high price tag. But, yeah. 
See, now they're drying down. They're both in the same, like, sort of speed right now. This They're both in that mid. I'm getting that tea, that green, like, that sweet tea. Not sweet tea, but, like, a, it's a green. It's a tea with, like, a, a, a sweetness. Maybe that's a floral. I'm thinking the floral is giving it sweetness. Dry. They're, they're very similar right now. Very, very similar, man. This DNA is really good. I can't deny it. People call it basic, but who's out here buying Louis Vuitton fragrances in the everyday world? This stuff is, it, it, it could just simply fit in any place or scenario, bro. Like, it's, it's, it's immaculate. This is the best signature scent, Louis Vuitton. So then I'll go Meteora or Meteora. But for first, this has to take the cake. But yeah, like I was saying, I get better. I get more longevity out of the Alexandria. That's not to say the Montaigne is not performing well at all. Because like 78 hours, y'all, like, how much more do y'all need? You know, like... I feel like 10 hours is kind of unnecessary. All I need to do is get through a full work shift. And most of us work eight hour shifts. Some people probably work 10, but like eight hours is all I need. Like that's like anything past that is like crazy. Cause I'm probably going to be showering by then anyway, man, these both smell so good. Y'all I'm, I'm going to tell y'all flat out. You probably can't go wrong with either one, man. Like these, these are both like great options. Like, like I said, I, I sprayed the Alexandria on my right forearm a couple days ago and the Montaigne on my left. The Alexandria is stuck a little bit longer, but like I said, the Montaigne projected longer. So it's like, I don't know which one people want. They both project nicely. They both have a decent longevity. It just comes down to preference, man. I would say the, I don't even know, like, I don't think... I mean, I guess the Alexander is a little bit quieter than the, the Montaigne, but still, like, it's, it projects still. Like, it's not, I don't know, man. These are both so damn close that I'm just conflicted at what, like, what to tell y'all. I guess go with the cheaper option. I think Montaigne for a 50 mil is, like, a $50 or something like that. Alexander for a 30 mil is, like, $40. So, but still, these these are so freaking good. Like, the, these are, like, wow, man. I can't even say anything because it, 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 they get the, the DNA down to a T. The quality is immaculate. I don't know which one. You know, it, it's a toss up. I, you know, this this might be the first time in uh in actuality that we have a, a tie, like a no decision. Like I don't want to do that because that's lame. But like these are literally both so good, man. Like, people are, are hitting me, talking about some Montaigne so much better, Alexander. Man, sometimes you just got to, like, as us for fragrance fans and, and fragrance heads, the competition is a good thing for us because we get to experience more fragrances. We get the, we get the best out of all of these houses because they're competing with each other. So, like, this is just an example of a great competition coming to a head. And we're just like, man, like, I don't even know what to tell y'all. I'm like, oh, these smell so good, bro. They both smell phenomenal. Like these, these smell phenomenal. I, I I can literally just sit here and like stretch this video out to the to the T. But man, these man, this smells so good. So yeah, I mean, if I had to pick a winner, y'all, if I had to, like gun to my head, I know I'm gonna get killed for this. I gotta go Montaigne. Montaigne, listen, because it doesn't last as long as the Alexandria. It does not. But that that lighter, that citrus, the citrusness, the airiness, it just adds, like, I, I love citrus, man. And I just love bright fragrances. It's a little bit brighter than the Alexandria. It has that citrus, that more citrusy feel. I know it's not going to last as long. That's the thing. You got to be willing to give up the performance of the Alexandria. That, that, it does it better than nobody, but... The smell of this is just uncanny. So, the winner of this fight, man. Montaigne Imaginary, y'all. That's not to say. Listen, I know y'all gonna kill me. That's not to say. That's not to say. This, this Alexandria one is a, a killer as well, bro. It's like, this is like LeBron versus Michael Jordan. Like, you don't, like, who, they're both great players, but I think LeBron's the greatest of all time. But, man, these are great. These are great. 
Spend your money wherever you want. These, these both of these are killers, bro. They're they're both equally great. But if I had to pick a winner, I'll go Montaigne just for the for the projection and the more citrusy, like bright take on the DNA. So yeah, that's just me. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Both of these are winners. This is probably the, the toughest clone battle we have had. So yeah, but I appreciate y'all tuning in as always, man. Thank you so much for the support. I do not take it for granted whatsoever, man. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much. Peace.